Hey, hello everyone, it's your host, Get Good Fox. Welcome to the Fox Talks podcast. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about State of Decay 2, mainly in regards to the whole infestation changes in the beta, which will eventually come to the main game. In particular, I want to talk about what the problems are with the infestations, because there's definitely some problems. I also want to give solutions on how to make them better. And I also want to pitch the idea that we should probably just ditch the idea of the infestation detection mechanics. But let's go ahead and get started with subject number one. This idea that the infestations, they've got problems, and the main problem is that they're not fun. And how would I qualify that they're not fun? Well, one, there's a lot of negative feedback surrounding them, but what is the negative feedback and what do I think? Well, I happen to agree with basically all the feedback that the infestations are very aggressive, much too aggressive. What does that mean? Well, they appear way too frequently and they repopulate very, very rapidly. And what winds up happening is you go out and you destroy them and you barely get any time to kind of do other activities until more infestations appear. And then you got to like either drop what you're doing and destroy those infestations or continue with what you're doing and then allow the infestations a chance to reproduce. And they do it very rapidly. It does not take long for infestations to rapidly upgrade because there's diff three different levels. There's level one, two, and three. Once they at level three, they can't upgrade anymore. And when it's time for them to choose an action, they'll just always choose to produce, uh, reproduce, to send out another assault horde, which is a specific type of horde that creates a new infestation, and it's this issue of exponential growth. One infestation becomes two, two become four, four become eight, and so forth. And that's really the first problem that people have with it. Another problem is that there's just no reward for clearing these infestations. It, basically, it feels like a chore. Like, what is the reward for doing the dishes? Well, you don't really get a reward. Your reward is that the dishes are clean. That you, Your reward is that there are no dirty dishes. And that feels like what the reward is for infestations. So they appear very frequently. And the only reason you're getting rid of them is to prevent more bad things from happening. So your only reward really is just that you don't have infestations. And the two of these, they have this like unholy synergy where they make the infestations feel like a chore. Like your oh, infestations have appeared. Better go get the lawnmower and mow the lawn. Better get the weed whacker out or, oh God, infestations. I That means I got to pull out my vacuum and start vacuuming the house. Like sure, you want a clean house, you want a nice lawn. That doesn't necessarily mean it's fun to do. So that's the first part is that the, the infestations, they're just not fun because they grief the player and they're very intrusive and they pull you away from the things that you want to do too frequently. I don't think it's a problem that the game pushes back. In fact, I think that's a good idea. But the problem is that there's not a lot of reward for beating the infestation back. And then, they, like I said, they assert themselves on you way too frequently. So let's talk about what I think could be done to make this problem with the infestations better. So first up, I think Undead Labs needs to balance the infestation generation time. Now, here's the compromise I'd like to make. I actually don't think it's a problem for the infestations to rapidly repopulate once they get a grip on the map. I think that's fine. It's kind of like you got the cockroach infestation and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. I don't think that part is a problem. The part that I have a problem with is that when you destroy all of them, every single infestation, they come back too quickly. Like when you destroy all of the infestations, they should just, there should just be a timer that tells, you know, like, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific, you know, give it a little bit of a range. Maybe like 45 minutes to 60 minutes at the least. Once you've killed all the infestations, you, that's the amount of breathing room you have until the new, the first new infestation appears. That way you would have like more sense of permanence. Like, yes, the zombies are always coming back. They're always going to infest things. But at least when you destroy them, especially it, it would 
reward you for being proactive and responsible because, you know, if you're keeping the boot on the proverbial throat of the infestations, you're just dropping everything you're doing, stomping the infestation out the moment it appears. Well, you'll be rewarded in the sense that, well, the infestation won't appear again for quite some time. But at the same time, if there's something that's very important that you want to do right now, maybe you can leave the infestation. It grows a little bit. Sure, you got to clean up a bigger mess. But once again, once you wipe out all of the infestations, it's gone. You don't have to worry about it for a little while. I think that would make a much better balance. So keep the rapid repopulation, but once you kill all of them, add a bigger cooldown for when the next new, the first infestation can appear. The next thing that I think Undead Labs has to do is make the infestation mechanic more rewarding. Because right now, all you get is just like a little pinch of influence here and there and a little bit of standing. And I don't think that's good enough because if there isn't this awesome reward for the infant, basically, if the infestations are adding difficulty, then I, I want a reward for overcoming the difficulty. And yes, some of the reward is going to be you are free of infestations. You are preventing morale loss. You are preventing incoming seizures and stuff like that. And... That is nice, but I would like a reward that is more proactive, and I have a few ideas, and they revolve around your, mainly around your community and your allies. So let's take it from a role-playing perspective. You are just on top of these infestations, and no one else is doing it. You are just going out there. You are keeping the area clear of, let's say you're on Mayor Valley, and you're just wiping all those infestations out. Well, you know what? Everyone is going to be happy about that. It's not just your community that's going to like it. All of the other enclaves are going to like it. So my first proposed benefit would be, uh, one, more payout per infestation destroyed. So if it's a level one infestation, keep that the same. But if, if you clear a level two infestation, give us more money. If you clear a level three infestation, give us even more money. Like bigger infestation, bigger money. I think that that would immediately begin to remedy some of the issue because, you know, once you get more money, you have plenty of things to work with. You can do radio call-ins, you can do trading, and it makes sense. You killed an infestation. It would make sense that the nearby enclave is like, oh my god, you took out that crazy level three infestation? Sure, I'll hand over one of my rucksacks because you did that. Now, you know, 175 influence is probably, that's too much even for a level, level three infestation. But here's my next idea. So let's say you have wiped out all of the infestations. Well, you should get a bonus, and the bonus should remain as long as the map is clear of infestations. And this is going to be a discount with your allies, or a discount with all enclaves. All enclaves will give you a discount, and if you have an ally, you get an even further discount because allied enclaves, they, they already give you a discount, and that would be pretty neat. I, I, I don't think there's any other mechanic, really, that does that. The only way to get a discount with your allies, really, is to level them up to, to, to the allied status, and this would be a cool way to incentivize you to keep the area clear of infestations. You get, like, a nice discount. Here's another idea. So as long as all the infestations are gone, what if you got a percentage influence bonus, kind of like tough negotiation? Tough negotiation gives you plus 30% more influence whenever you complete a quest or kill a zombie. How about that? Once again, it would represent that people are so impressed with what you're doing that they're like, oh, you're that, you're that crazy infestation exterminator. You're like the Orkin man. Like, you're just tearing this place up. So, yeah, you know, we know you. We give you more influence for the same actions. How about morale? So if there's too many infestations, you lose morale. Why don't you gain morale if you have cleared out all the infestations? Why not? You know, that seems like it's a logical thing. I have this idea. What if... When you clear out all the infestations, you could get a sheriff legacy style care package. It's like a random, you know, like all the enclaves kind of chip in and they're like, oh, thanks for taking out all those infestations. It was getting awful. Here is a care package. And who knows what it could have guns. It could have ammo, medical supplies, you know, uh, vehicle repair kits, gasoline. May, or maybe maybe a um, like a boon trader type of character shows up. It could be like an infestation thank you trader shows up and you could buy stuff from them at like a crazy 
crazy discount. Or maybe they just give you an option like, oh, do you want ammo? Do you want food? Do you want medicine? Just something, anything that makes you feel good for clearing out the infestations. Because, you know, there should be a yin and a yang to difficulty and rewards. Like, you know, you want them both at the same time. Like, yeah, you want to make the infestations more virulent so that they spread across the map? Well, you know, you give us more of an incentive. Make, make it feel good so it doesn't just feel like mowing the lawn or washing the dishes. And those are the ideas. That's what I think would make the infestations like way, way more fun. Just like chill out on how quickly all of them come back and then give us more stuff to play with so that we can have more fun interacting with other gameplay gameplay mechanics. Now, the final section I want to talk about is I think we should just ditch the infestation detection mechanic. And what I'm talking about is when an infestation first appears, it doesn't appear as an infestation. It appears as a specific type of horde uh, known as an assaulting horde. And the assaulting horde has a destination. It will travel there. And when it gets there, it becomes an infestation. Then the infestation has a timer. When the timer fills up, it either A, upgrades to the next level. In this case, it started at level 1. It will upgrade to level 2. A level 2 is like the double screamer infestation. And then when the timer fills up again, it could level up to 3. Alternatively, it could also, when the timer fills up, produce another assault horde. And then that horde would go to another location, infest it, and, you know, the process repeats itself. Well, here's the deal. A lot of the mechanics, the first off, they just don't make sense for infestation detection. So you are somehow told that a assault horde has spawned, but you don't know where it is. Why? Why? How do I know both? How do I, how would I know that it's there, but I don't know where? Another example? So your community gets really sad if there's a lot of infestations, but you might not even know where they are. If you don't even know there are infestations on the map, how how does your community know to feel sad or anxious about infestations? Like, if you have not detected them and revealed them, there's no way your community would even know. Here's a third example. There is, uh, in the beta, and like I said, eventually beta will come to the primary game, you got this idea of threat. Threat is created by infestations and the power of them. So, like, a level 3 infestation creates more threat than a level 1 infestation. And it's like, okay, how, do, how, do, how am I aware of a threat level on my base if I haven't even found the infestations yet? But they're all there. So, like, first off, that, none of that even makes sense. So it's like weird mixed messages that somehow you know infestations are there, but you don't know where they are. Like, you detected them, but somehow you didn't detect them. It's just like, it's just nonsensical. And I think that the issue is that it's just an overly convoluted thing that it, it, it just makes the infestations even more annoying than they already are. And I just don't think we need it. The second issue is that it's, like I said, it goes right into it. It's not fun. I don't want to go scout the infestations. It's not fun. Like, it's already a hassle having to squish all of them. Just tell me, like, just show me where they are. The the game should be about just like, okay, I know there's an infestation horde here. I'll go intercept it. Because the way they want you to, they, they want you to detect it in two manners, basically. You can set up your outposts, and your outposts will have a detection range, right? And the detection range is supposed to reveal infestations if they are nearby, reveal assault hordes before they even become infestations if they're close by. The thing, though, is that the map is just so huge, and, uh, like, you're going to have somewhere between, like, two and seven outposts to scatter around the map, but the map is gigantic, and you're only going to have six to seven outposts in, like, an ideal situation where, you know, you've leveled up the uh, the command center to three, and you've got a network s- a signal booster, and then you've got a red talon hacker to get the seventh one, but otherwise... In most situations, you're not going to have that. And even if you have seven of these, the map is just so huge. And the the infestations, they can just appear wherever they want. They can appear in the middle of nowhere. They can appear in in like a big, dense town center. They can just, they can just, they do whatever they want. And they're just not good at detecting them. They're just not. The way I detect them is like, oh, wow, look at this. I've got an indicator that my threat meter is there. And then what do you do? Well, Undead Labs gave you a radio command. 
And the radio command is to scout the infestations for, like, 50 influence or something. And it originally had, like, a three-minute timer, but for some reason it got nerfed, and now it has a 30-minute timer. And I'm like, okay, well, neither of those are very fun. If you're going to give me a, a thing that just reveals all the infestations and all the assaulting hordes, and I can do it every three minutes for 50 influence, why even have that step in the – why not? Why even have that step? Just show me where they are. And if you're going to then hide them and make it like a 30-minute cooldown, which is what it currently is right now, well, that's just not fun. I don't want to look for them. Like, that's – it's not a fun part of the infestation experience. Just show me where they are. And that's what I mean by this mechanic of infestation detection. It is currently unnecessary. Maybe in the future it could be an interesting idea, but right now I think Undead Labs should just – Cut that out completely. Just ditch the whole, just get rid of the radio commands, get rid of the detection, just make it so that you you always know where all the infestations are, you always know where the assaulting hordes are, that makes all of the mechanics make perfect sense. If your guys are sad, you know why, because you know where the infestations are. Uh, you've got a threat meter, why? Because you know where the infestations are. And you got a message like, by the way, an infestation has appeared on the map, or an assault horde has appeared on the map. Well, now you know, because you just have permanent vision of uh, all of the, the you, you just know where they are. It will make sense and it will remove a, a frankly just an element of tedium and if the scouting mechanic could be super cool in the future then add it. But right now I think it's just too much. I think it's like let's just get the infestations to be more interesting and more rewarding because that's what Undead Labs wanted. They wanted to revamp the infestations to make them more engaging. Let's just focus on that. Let's get them fun and you know like make them a threat like like oh man zombies are coming to get you they're gonna spread and like boom -de -boom -de -boom, we're gonna get you and then make them rewarding to destroy then you know in the future maybe you mess around with the idea of infestation detection but right now no no let's just forget about it let's just forget about all of that altogether anyways to wrap things up Overall, the feedback on the infestations is – it hasn't been super great. Like, not a lot of people are happy with it. Like, they find it to be very, very tedious. A lot of people are saying, God, I, I spend more time clearing infestations than I do playing the game, and it's interfering with my gameplay. Some people are coping with it by just – they're like, I, it's just not worth it to clear the infestations. I'll deal with the morale penalty. I don't have fun clearing them. I'll just let them grow to a maximum of 25 and just ignore them. So the infestations, they're not fun. They're too aggressive. They need to, like, chill out with it. Then they need to make them more rewarding. Like, people, people will love the infestation mechanic. They'll find it really fun if it simultaneously is menacing you, but then you feel really good because of these awesome rewards when you squish them. As well as, I think it's big, big potential there. Rewards for keeping the map clear of infestations. And then finally, let's just forget about the detection system. I, I think it's too complicated. I don't think it makes it any more fun. Let's just stick on figuring out how frequently infestations should appear and how rewarded players should be. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section based on your experiences with infestations. Do you find them to be too frequent, too aggravating? Did it resonate with you? When I said, it's like doing chores, like mowing the lawn or washing the dishes. Did you nod your head? You're like, yep, that's exactly how I feel. What do you think about getting rewards, especially the idea of new benefits for keeping the map clear of infestations? And lastly... What do you think, and again, I know some of you guys aren't on the beta, so what do you think about, like, having to actually find the infestations to begin with? I think it sucks. Maybe you guys think differently. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, though. Like the video if it was entertaining. Remember, you can follow me on a whole bunch of, I'm not just on YouTube. You can find me on Twitch for live Stave Decay 2 gameplay. I've got a Discord community. You want to chat with me, ask me anything you want about Stave Decay 2, suggest me new games, you jump on my Discord. Links are down in the description. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook if you want more notifications, because, you know, sometimes YouTube derps out with the notifications notifications. Anyways, until next time, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.